the wires and belts of a lie detector machine could be replaced by a video camera and an algorithm. Have you ever lied to your parents? Yes. What about? About where I was at a certain time in the morning. So what we're doing is we're using the video footage, we're breaking it down into data and then using quant methods or quantitative math uh, and deep learning from the videos to determine how a person's emotional responses are tied to some stimulus. So in this instance, it was questions. This is not new technology. It was originally developed to gauge audience reactions to TV shows and movies. Using earlier studies identifying micro-expressions that betray emotions someone may want to conceal, the Silver Logic Lab's algorithm analyzes facial expressions based on seven basic reactions, including anger, disgust, happiness, and fear. We wanted to pan in really tight into our face so that we could get a lot of detail in, in that footage because we are going to be processing it and, and uh, decomposing the emotional vectors to see the veracity of whether or not she believes in what she's saying. Have you ever hurt somebody intentionally? Yes. Here, the algorithm detects sadness, suggesting, according to the tester, that the subject is not telling the truth, as the baseline testing indicates she feels emotional discomfort when deceitful. The idea that a video camera can identify anxiety levels and emotional reactions in real time raises privacy concerns for some, but the company says those fears are unfounded. Well, I think this is actually a super enhancement to civil rights because cameras and computers aren't biased to race, ethnicity, age, gender, any of that. The passive polygraph could play an active role in the search for truth in the future. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News. It's interesting to see if this didn't decode, you know.